Yep. Um, so my plan for today is um, to have lots of discussions with the higher beings about Mike. Okay. Uh -huh. So what's what's new uh, with you? Um, it's just been, there's a lot of uh, people that are uh, under a lot of stress. And so I, I feel that. So it, it uh, sort of affects you. But you try to keep uh -huh. clear of it. But I'm doing my best. Uh huh. Also, the holidays are coming, and we, I'm having to work that out because of the COVID and everything. Work it out. Oh, you mean to get have guests? Yes, because I don't. Because uh, it's getting bad everywhere, so. You mean uh, the infection rates? Yes. Hospitalization is up. Deaths are up. Everything's up. Everything is up. Yep. Yeah, all uh, right. But you still want to have guests? Well, maybe a couple, but not a lot. I see. But that's that makes me wonder whether I should or not. But I, I'm going to, I think, anyway. So because I know that these people are fairly safe. Uh -huh. we'll, see. we'll see what's going on. Right. Yeah, I don't stay as much isolated now. I go to the store and sometimes there is lots of people in the store. That I think is the most congested place. Yep, the grocery store. Yeah. But uh, I hope to get through even if we get sick, we, I think we will get through. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah, the, the, yeah we are mo in the middle of the move. So it's oh, we better we better yeah we better complete the move then uh, you know sooner and then we're fine. So you're in the middle of the move. Uh huh. Yeah, we have lots of time and it goes slow. Like uh, the apartment was available sooner and we had to pay right away. So we have like f five weeks to move, which is unusual. Oh, that's a lot of time. Yeah. Well, so that's next, good. Next Wednesday is the main, uh, the truck is coming. Oh, okay. So you have everything put in boxes already or? No, no, no. Like 50% done. Okay. Well, but that's it's nearby. good still. Yeah, nearby. So if even if you have something un unpacked, we can move it later. We well, yeah, uh, here fifty percent done. That's pretty good. That's not bad, yeah. That's good. But I still think that the uh, the infection is seeded, but it doesn't mean that it's safe. It is, especially I think in New York they see the better, the worse uh, strain of the infection. I think in, in other places it's much milder. Uh, well, I don't know. San Francisco, it's bad. They don't have any ICU available anymore. People should share their hospitals, and the yeah. schools stay empty. So I don't, I don't see people trying to actually help each other. Hmm. Well, I don't know how they would if they're not medically. If they don't know medicine, there is lots could... of medical workers, except they need to be like redirected. So it requires a concentrated effort, and nobody is doing it. Right. Well, we're waiting on several things: a stimulus package for those that aren't working and need help, or businesses and everything. You don't hear anything. You don't hear the president about that. You don't hear him about anything. 
he's totally quit. Uh huh. Except for about re-election. That's uh -huh. the only thing you hear about. All right. And we're getting cyber attacks from Russia. Uh huh. Many. Of I, them. I I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Nope, it wasn't you. <laughs> we don't. But. You don't hear anything from the president about that either. Uh huh. He's not. He's checked out. Uh huh. Yeah, I I I think um, the economy might actually go up because uh, what is happening is that um, in America, economy goes up when government gets more control. In some other countries, it's more like. The economy will go up when government gets less control, when government allows more of uh, free enterprise. But in America, it looks like uh, in historically more of government control is, uh, is uh, beneficial for economy. Obviously, there is some balance. But basically, if they um, uh, control the masses and control the minds, uh, I mean, the cabal, and if they uh, have everything under control, then um, then uh, they might regulate the economy better, and they will be it will it will be more cooperative because right uh, uh, without control, it's like um, um, less cooperative. It's self-destructive. People just uh, fight each other instead of moving forward. So I'm thinking that globally, if the cabal takes the, the control of the economy, then they might uh, actually force people to do better, to cooperate better, to cooperate better. Perhaps. Obviously, I hope that every, uh, the, that manipulation will be revealed and disclosed, and then it will fall. But, um, well, I cooperate. My personal belief is that the destruction of democracy has already occurred. And um, so, yeah, yeah, um, in many layers, including what? the. It, it occurred in many layers, including the beliefs of people. People just got disillusioned. Yes, and they, well, the thing is, when your leaders lie to you consistently, uh -huh. you believe them. So, as they, they're saying, oh, it must be true because the president said so. So, as democracy continues to be eroded, I don't think there's any recourse or backing up or fixing it. It's not going to be fixed. So I am I'm just I just am sort of um, I don't know what the word is. I'm just nostalgic. Nostalgic. The word is nostalgic. Well, this, yeah, this country was very good to me and it was uh it's where I was born and it's where I I grew up and everything was good and and now I just sort of lost my bearings with it. Yeah, my yeah, I'm also nostalgic and my parents died when uh, they found that the new world doesn't need them. They were felt out of place. The Soviet Union fell apart and the new world was different. They couldn't find themselves. So they tried a few things, but they couldn't fit. Yeah, that's economically, how I economically and uh, intellectually. Yep, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's called New World Order. The New World Order already started and uh, it will last for a while. But it's, as communists say, it. Uh, it contains the seeds of its own destruction. So I think it's coming. It's already came. It's uh, not as bad as I expected, but uh, but I hope it will uh, 
it will self destruct, self destroy itself very fast. I hope. Because it's based on the lies, and uh, and uh, as soon as the lies are revealed, then uh, it's over. And uh, there is already a community which knows the truth. So the truth is already known. It's just a question of it uh, getting to the masses. What community knows the truth? <coughs> um, uh, conspiracy theorists. No, that's totally wrong. Here we disagree. Here the scientists disagree. Yes, because conspiracy theorists is just uh, instilling fear in people to, so that they'll react, instilling fear so they won't do things, instilling fear so they won't get in vaccinated and all these other things, so they'll die. So. It's yeah, I'm also against vaccination. I'm theories. also against vaccination. Yes, I mean there are good vaccines and there are bad vaccines. Of course, there is. You just have to pray about which one's the right one. But yeah, is, uh, the conspiracy theories are not right. The real world is not living in conspiracy theories. The real world is out here where the truth is, and the truth is there's somebody that doesn't care about our country running the country um, that's the truth discuss the president i i don't think it's a, it is an interesting topic to discuss the president but the conspiracy theorist is a, a, an interesting interesting topic i could discuss that well i don't think that the conspiracy theories are true are there different theories maybe you are talking about their own ones which ones are you talking about? Uh, the one which, which you channeled, especially what Lakesh says and uh, uh, um, our friend um, Pentium and our friend uh, Grindel. Well, which, uh, which they, one is that? Oh, they are conspiracies. Uh, they, they, they explain the conspiracies. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear the channels. Right, yeah, yeah. Somehow you diverge from your own channeling. You need to listen to yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the paradox. Back, yeah. I don't have time to go back and listen to all my channeling. Yeah, that's the paradox. You channel the, the lots of information which confirms conspiracy theories and makes it all clear. And now, but personally, you diverge from your own channeling. Huh. There is a part, I mean, if you just remove the word theory, it's more like conspiracy knowledge. It sounds much better, but I'm just uh, using that derogatory de term, how do you say it, uh, theories. But it's not theory, it's practice, it's conspiracy knowledge. There is a community which studies the conspiracies, and uh, there is a lot of nice books where people bring up the facts. And uh, the existence of Kabbalah, you don't doubt. Your focus fixation is on on uh, on Trump, and uh, it's understandable. I I don't know the answer about Trump, but uh, I think we'll know it eventually. Lukashenko, you know Lukashenko, right? What? Lukashenko, you know about Lukashenko? Lukashenko. No. It's a president of Bel the president of Belarus, which was uh, which reelected himself. All right illegitimately and uh, there is a lot of uh, fighting going on on the streets in belarus it's a small part of russia size of 20 million uh, northwest of russia okay. basically that's an independent country fiercely independent country which still is uh, a leftover of the soviet union they didn't uh reform much so that's kind of left over of the Soviet Union. And it has a president which stays there for about 20 something years, uh, like Putin, about the same, same, same style. So uh, he refused to allow quarantine on his uh, country, which is a small country, like one big city and uh, suburbs. And uh, uh, 
as a result, I think he was punished. So, so he said he was offered like huge amount of money to the country for uh, introducing quarantine. So financial and pharmaceutical industry wanted quarantine in this country, and he refused it. So they had some, some, some lots of, of the virus, but they kind of went through it, and they it went down. But then they had uh, elections, which he basically blew, and he uh, he claims 80% of victory, while the people know it's about maybe 5% of votes for himself, and about. 80% votes for for the opposition. So he had like a non non-stop um, how do you call it uh, protests uh, for the last three months. But basically, he is aware. He's a he is aware of the offers from the cabal, and he knows the plans. He was aware of the current of the season of the virus, so he didn't allow it in his country, and he now pays pays for that uh, but he so what he said it was that in the winter we'll we'll have a new attack which will so with with, with comparison with which um, quarantine and the virus will seem uh, small so I wonder what it will be but I trust I mean what he says makes sense Okay, I don't remember anything about that channeling. Anything. No, no, it's not channeling. It's it's. Uh, oh, you thought it's channeling? No, I'm telling the story of the real thing. Oh, okay. My research into Belarus because it's, it, it they speak Russian, so I, I feel like connected. Okay. It's not a channeling. No, no, it's 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 a Lukashenko is alive, and he 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 looks okay. He looks pretty pretty solid. Okay. What I'm saying is that uh, we might be facing something interesting in the winter, which already started. Yep. But basically, it's a new world order, and uh, I think they are winning. There is no, at the moment, there is no opposition. I don't see any, any obstacles in their way. They are pretty organized, and they have lots of resources, and uh, they have a plan. And then nobody else has a plan. So I think we are just going through the new world order phase, and I'm happy it's so, so, um, how do you say, not as bad as it was portrayed before. It's pretty okay. humane, pretty humane. They just killed so only, only like lots of small businesses and lots of jobs they kill and uh, old people they kill, but... Uh, but they got the control of the planet, which I think, from their perspective, is the only way to save the economy. And until now, the humanity was fighting each other, and there was a lot of self-destructive behaviors. Hopefully, they might be able to stop that. So I think maybe they might be allowed to do that because they serve a positive purpose. And then, once they sort of reveal their their dirty hand, then they the humanity might might awaken awaken okay I, i'm just looking at that as an analyst i don't take sides i'm just describing what i see okay i can't i have decided that it doesn't it's it's no use for me to talk about it really Because what's going to happen is going to happen, and there's nothing I can do to stop it personally. And I see it continue, and it's it will do what it does and have the outcome that it has, and then we'll move on. Right. Bird watching. Uh, it's a webinar. Huh? I have a webinar. All right. Um, yeah, the hikers ask what I'm doing here with the camera, <laughs> with a smartphone. A smartphone. They think that I'm bird watching. I'm <laughs> sort of bird watching. I think the the cabal is uh, ruled by the birds, bluebirds. So, at least one of them is uh, toth. Toth. Yeah. How do you say toth? <laughs> so yeah. 
from their perspective, they like we we are very foreign to them. They sort of just rule us, rule and uh, breed us. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Same 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 here. I I uh, cannot do much except speaking up the truth. And what you could do is channel. You're good in channeling, and through you, we get a lot of information. Um. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> oh, you wonder if it's true. Yep, I do. I wonder if the, I don't know what information comes out because I allow them to speak their minds. You see, uh -huh. I don't. I don't interfere with them, and so they say what they want to say, and whether it's good or bad, they say it. So, right. So I don't understand. I try to only bring through the positive beings that want to, to say the best things for the world. That's what I pray for. That's what I have been praying for all along is just the best uh, beings to come through and to take charge. And hopefully that's what's been happening because I haven't really been listening to my channels because I have so many channels every day by the end of the day I don't want to listen to any more channels oh sure yeah so, I think it's uh, it's it's uh, not unexpected not it's normal that you keep keep it simple it's not uh, because if you keep it complex as it is complex then uh, you won't be able to channel you keep it very simple Yes, I have to. I just, if I was to be sitting watching other channels or my own channels or whatever, it would all, it would sway what I say in the future or whoever comes through because I would try to be part of it. But since I don't know anything, I can't be part of it. Uh, and I, and I told the channels that I use not to talk about politics. I can talk ah. about politics, but they can't. Ah. Well, they still do. <laughs> they still do. Oh, but I, I try to tell them, please don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I stay away from politics, by the way. I don't, I, once I realized what's happening, I, I came back to my songwriting and uh, science my science is moving just great i Good. came up came out i uh, did my first presentation and i'm doing more good i basically published most of my the the core of my findings already published so so it's out there and i get great uh, great feedback basically people who understand they they like they love it People who understand Good. the love it. Well, I know that you're on the right track. They've told me that they, I, they guided you a little bit, but not much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 all the credit goes to them. I, I channel the things. I channel things. Oh, okay. I channel, channel chemistry. Uh, and and now it's a good another stage of channeling. I do a lot of new channeling of uh, of science. Oh, so, good. Uh, so we are um, we are moving somewhere. It looks like we are on the track to get some practical results. Not only the theory, but if we get it right soon, we might be able to get ahead of uh, mainstream science in on their own in in their own area. Basically, they hunt for. Uh, mutations which are responsible for disease and they find a lot of mutations in the areas which they call junk DNA and they couldn't figure out how do they work and my theory is called DNA resonance theory explains how these mutations work and so far it only explains but if I able am I, if I'm able to predict then then I I'm I'm getting something practically useful and hopefully soon we'll be able to. Very cool. Uh huh. Well, that I wish you all the best of luck on that because that sounds really good. Uh huh. Thanks.
and uh, you you deserve to move forward. So that's amazing. Yeah, I gave up on deserving, and I don't think it's fair. I don't, you know, fairness is not part big part of my um um how do you say? No, no. life is not fair. That's not what I meant. I uh, just not yeah, think as an individual, you should move forward. Oh, no, no, no. I, yeah, um, no. As an individual, <laughs> the body maybe, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm allowing them to, to guide me. So it's more like cooperation rather than me. Yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm allowing right now for some guidance to come in yeah. because I was too attached to everything, seeing that this is where I grew up and everything and all that. So I was very, very attached and very it was very personal to me. And now I have to let that go. Yeah, I did another psychedelic trip, and uh, every psychedelic trip is like dying. You like allow yourself to die. I'm, I've never done a psychedelic trip. <laughs> yeah. I've never done anything uh, wa wildly drug oriented. Yeah, but you do uh, channeling, which is also allow yourself to leave the body. Yes. Like allowing someone to take your body is more like dying. Yes. Yeah, I was I was listening to uh, to a book, uh, the Physics of God. Um, Sibyl, Joseph Sibyl, and um, he mentions an idea. I think it could be his idea that there are people with multiple personalities. Essentially, it's like channeling the other soul. So you have like two souls switching. Uh, in the same body, and he suggest he, he uh, the scientists measure the the body changes radically when the new soul comes. They the body has new eye color, might have new skin marks, a lot of changes, uh, new disease or new sickness or something like that, and and it goes back and forth. So he suggests that DNA changes it's again. That makes sense. Uh, he says the DNA might be changing. And I'm thinking that while you you should take your samples of your cheese pop and measure if you are switching uh, the DNA patterns to something else. It's possible. There are certain beings with it when they come through, I do feel very different, such as Ish and Takur and uh any angel angelic uh, angelic beings coming through make you feel very different it's so and grindle definitely there are those that will feel differently and react differently within your system and connect differently to your body some connect through the chakras some connect through parts of the brain and some you know it's just the way it is they they all connect in their own special way so uh -huh. um, but it feels like they're it does feel like sometimes they are changing your uh, physical body your DNA and, and stuff like that it's, it does sometimes feel that way yeah um I'm recording that and I will publish this part. So the whole thing, I will publish the whole recording. So if anyone wants to subscribe that experiment, um, it would cost about, I would say $600. If somebody wants to donate $600, we will do the experiment. Just make do sure to remind us that it is specifically do for, uh, say again? Uh, an experiment for me to get tested while I'm channeling. Uh huh. Uh, there are a couple of a few companies that do genotyping. Basically, they take your DNA sample and measure, and tell the the um, the mutations, just genotype the mutations and give the data. 
And uh, the, the most famous is 23andMe, uh, which is okay. And it's about $100 to do a genotype. So if you do six re uh, replicates, three normal genes and three channeling genes, the same, the same, we need the same person to be channeled, like someone. And then uh, we'll send it and see if there is any difference. If there is okay. an effect of channel, a channeling state on, on the DNA sequence. Wow. Okay. I, I and, and, then it's, and then it's publishable. And then Actually, I wouldn't even know where to to call. You have to get some of the information for that. Oh no, no. It could be like anybody, like um, um, any friend, could do the cheek swab. It's like brushing your teeth. Just that you turn the brush the other way around. You swab your you brush your cheek. That's all you do okay. for about uh, for about. Um, a minute actually a minute is excessive 10 seconds is enough so 10 seconds you brush your cheek and it's that's it and uh, then we send it label it and send it and uh, for publication it would be ideal to have actually 800 dollars for eight samples but we can do six six is fine uh, we can possibly do two and four would be like yeah two and four will be sufficient two normal gyms and four channeling gyms to get statistics and um, and if we get to see difference, we will uh, publish it. Jim will be a test subject, and the co-author. Yeah, a test subject. I am guinea pig. <laughs> yeah, a guinea pig. But you know, that's but, diagnosis. It's we are not treating you; we're just measuring your DNA. That's interesting. Okay, I think Bashar had something like that done with him. Oh, really? Or he had some kind of testing done where they could tell that his brain waves changed completely uh -huh. during channeling. Of course, yeah, that's different. Yeah, there's a brain scan, the uh, electroencephalogram call. It's EEG, electroencephalogram. Okay. And while he was channeling, his brain waves completely changed. And when he was normal, his brain waves went back to sort of a human pattern but while he was channeling it was not a human pattern so i've heard bashar stops ch channeling like daryl anka starts ch stops channeling soon or already did mm -hmm. which means that we are close to the first contact he stopped channeling uh, i heard that i'm not sure if it's done or sometime in the future okay because he was saying several things that I were so people were telling me what he was saying and I was going I have no idea what he means so um, but uh, it was cryptic sort of a cryptic message for everyone and I don't know exactly what he was meaning but I think it would have to do with the near future definitely uh-huh but that's a pretty view, sort of. 